first congratulations for the success of the exhibition and we hope of course more success not only for the exhibitions for all of exhibitions in Hong Kong as it's one of the most important area in the world for industry and development we would like to have an idea about the history of the exhibition how it starts the, the idea, not the, not the time of the history, not the 50 years, but how the idea came in the beginning. Well, um, the Hong Kong, we are celebrating our 50th edition of the Hong Kong Toy Fair. Yeah. Actually, the Toy Fair did not start in 1975. It uh, started way before. And uh, many years ago, and uh, when I uh, heard from uh, my grandfathers and also uh, senior people from the industries, the global toy manufacturing and production was uh, mainly it started in Europe. So Nuremberg, why did they have the Nuremberg Toy Fair? It was because they, uh, Nuremberg was the manufacturing, the factory in Europe. Um, and then same place in New York Toy Fair. And then after the Second World War, the uh, American and the European uh, industry actually helped building up as uh, the toy industry in Japan. And uh, so Japan has, was the largest toy uh, manufacturers. Barbie, the first Barbie in 1957, uh, around 1957, yeah. uh, was uh, Ruth Handler, the designer of the, she went to Tokyo to develop Barbie. So that Japan was a, an important part of the toy industry. And, and then as the Japanese society developed and uh, things become more expensive, so they start moving the toy manufacturing to Taiwan and Hong Kong. So Hong Kong as a, uh, as a place, and at that time we have a lot of new immigrants and cheap laborers. So starting in uh, my grandfather and some of the senior people, they started the, man, uh, the toy manufacturing in 1950s. So in the 20 years times, we developed a lot of different toys and a side share. Uh, in the early 70s, Hong Kong is the largest toy exporter in the world. So that's how many buyers come to Hong Kong to manufacture to and de develop toys. And uh, that's how it started. I would say the Hong Kong Toy Fair actually uh, mainly started in uh, 1960s, starting from 10 manufacturers, 10 companies, uh, to a few hundred uh, companies. And the exhibition uh, area was in, uh, um, uh, in Excelsior Hotel in Causeway Bay in the 70s. Yeah. And then until uh, the 80s, we have the convention centers and then we move over here. So that's how it started, because Hong Kong is the largest toy exporters, and it's only natural with that all the uh, major buyers, all the major people, and as a free port, it is a, a good place to do business with. Yeah. As I know, as my information, there is a lot of exhibitions for toys. There is toys exhibition all over the world, and also in China mainland. Mm -hmm. So where we can put Hong Kong exhibition mm -hmm. between these exhibitions? Well, I, uh, first, we are number one, not mainly because we started our toy fair on January 8th, so we are the yeah. first toy fair of the year. Uh, so I think that's a good, very good timing. And uh, as the first really major trade fair in the world, um, but I also say that why Hong Kong is a best place to do business with. I mean, there are a number of reasons. Um, I would say over, not 50, over 70 years of toy manufacturing and exhibition experience. And when you come to some uh, different toy show in the world, I would say that since that China and Hong Kong is the number one toy producer in the world. So if you want to get the latest samples, latest technology, latest ex exhibition, you have to come to Hong Kong. Any other shows, they will have to send to the samples, so it's two or three weeks uh, late. And you can talk to 
uh, as an international show, uh, we get support by many different uh, country over 35 uh, as this exhibition. Um, so you can uh, look at the latest trend and uh, the development. And also one last thing is about networking. It's about uh, meetings, uh, new customer buyers, and new information. Yeah. So in this case, as we are, we can say we are number one. <laughs> What's the target? What's the final target of the exhibitions? We always have to, we are in the toy industry, we have to be innovative because children uh, only play with the toys for a short time. So there's some good and also some challenges. So the Hong Kong Toy Fair, we always have to improve as the leaders in the world. We are right now the largest and the most popular uh, toy fair in Asia and also the number two uh, toy fair in the world uh, right after Nuremberg. So as an international toy show, I would say continue to be a place to gather all the international people come over here, uh, exhibit, uh, develop, and uh, help uh, to create a better toy industry. So that's our goal. In my generation, when I was young, mm -hmm. the toys was very simple. Mm -hmm. And the information source for us, it was the TV, radio, newspaper, very limitation. Mm -hmm. Now, the toys itself, it's kind of source mm -hmm. to give information for the kids. Mm -hmm. How we can use this, this facility to increase the intelligence of the people, of the kids, or how we can improve the kids for the information. Uh, I totally agree with you that uh, toys is a, a very good tool to educate uh, young children. And especially there are numbers of reports to, that show that uh, if the parents give the iPhone, iPad, uh, smartphone too early to the children before five years old, uh, it's not good for the development. So what we can do with toys is uh, to learn, touch and feel, develop the five sensory, and uh, that is the advantage of traditional toys. Yeah. So, uh, and with the complement of uh, new technologies, uh, we can help uh, parents to develop because the parents can get a lot more information about the toys yeah. than, than, than today than, uh, than before. So uh, I believe that our uh, toy manufacturers is not only that we continue to make a uh, safe and uh, toys with a good function but we also become a tool to better help the children to develop the sensory, the social skill, and uh, also uh, they can play and learn. Okay. How Hong Kong exhibitions or how Hong Kong traders can communicate with the people outside countries if they cannot reach to Hong Kong? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not the internet only, but not samples, but how we can communicate with them mm -hmm. to show them the products, the quality, how, how we can push them to buy yeah. our products. Thank you for asking this question. We have a uh, Hong Kong toy show. We have uh, exhibition plus. That means uh, we have a platform a month before and also a month after the Hong Kong toy fair. So our exhibitors, uh, they have their online exhibition and online products. It's all in the Hong Kong TDC website. So this is a information, not only that uh, we have information uh, just for the toy fair. Uh, we also have the information all year round and we also have a uh, scan to match platform so if the buyer put in the preference of the category of toys and what type of toys uh, our uh, platform would be able to match but th there is no better way to come physically but if they cannot come uh, the, uh, there are online information that can be found at the hongkongtdc.com Last but not at uh, least but not last, what you would like to advise people for the Hong Kong toys? Uh, with over 70 years of uh, 
industry, Hong Kong tourists will continue to be uh, innovative and also be a tool, like you say, uh, to help uh, children to play and learn. And because as an Asian parent, uh, I think the uh, the Western uh, children they like to play and learn, but what? Many Asian or parents, they would like to learn and play. But whether we do both, and I think we're going to do both, and also help the uh, the children and uh, to become uh, to help them to develop. Thank you for your yeah. time. Thank, Thank you. you. Good morning, we are in the first day of the toys exhibitions in Hong Kong. We are doing this interview with Dolo Toys Factories from Turkey. Uh, please introduce yourself. My name is Göksel. Yeah. We are based in Turkey, Istanbul. And this is a 50 years old toy company, dedicated production of toys. So we produce everything in Turkey and export to over 85 countries. Yeah. What kind of toys you are doing? We are doing plastic toys. Outdoor, back to school, role play, educational and preschool, and we do also baby products together with licensed toys. So we have a wide assortment. So let's say, what's the average age between? It's, it's suitable for which age? Uh, I would say from the birth, like six months, up to six, seven years old. Seven years old. Okay. What's the the idea of the toys you are doing? It's like uh, t uh, learning toys to teach the the kids or just to play or what's behind the, the toys itself? We are very much dedicated on fun and then educational um, especially on our outdoor category we have plenty of joy so kids can really have fun being out in the garden or at the beach and with the indoor toys we have a lot of educational uh, content. How many times you are sharing in this exhibition? For how many years? Yeah. It has been already like 13 years on this one and more than 20 years in Germany and Nuremberg. Other than this one, we are exhibiting in, um, in London and New York and France, Deville. You are saying your, the age of your company is 50 years? Yes. Okay, what's the difference between, let me say, last 20 years, I'm not saying 50 years because it's a big difference. Yeah. What's the difference in the toys in these 20 years? How has it changed? Oh, so a lot of changes, yeah. a lot of technology involved now, and um, the assortment got quite larger compared to what they had in the industry 30 years ago, 20 years ago. And technology not only with the products, but only the speed of the business. Yeah. I mean, communicating very easily with videos and, you know, by WhatsApp, everything got very faster than before. At the same time, we had more certifications involved in every region. Like in GCC, there is this GSO certification, not only the test report of this individual product. So I would say not only in toys, in many industries, there's a lot of changes within 20 years, which is a long time. Yeah. Uh, uh, toys always change the mind of kids. Uh, how, how much you think that it can, your toys, I mean the one which are product, it can help to change the minds or to uh, improve the, the mind of the kids if they are using it? It's a good question. That can change a lot because it brings a lot of imagination. So everything starts with in imagination. And the kids imagine today construction or role play, being a doctor, being a pilot, all starts at that age level. So it's quite important. Yeah. You are saying your product, your product is plastic, plastic uh, yes. games. You don't use uh, electronics inside it? We have electronic involved. Some, we have some electronic light on driven cars. We have some electronic functions on the toys. But the main investment is made on the big tools. And we have a lot of, um, you know, um, different materials involved, sometimes some fabrics, sometimes some wooden parts. But main investment goes is in the massive plastic tools. Yeah. Uh, what's your advice for the parents regarding their kids when they would like to select the toys for them? Well, of course, uh, families have certain budgets 
and the industry is trying to get the cost down. So in some cases, product quality can go lower. So if they are confident with a brand, which they tried before, and they're happy and satisfied with the quality, they can keep on that. And they can easily check the test reports from the brand. So at least they know which product they are using for their children. Otherwise, it could be a little bit risky and dangerous for the kids. That's the question, your advice. Is that? Your advice. Um, for general to the parents? For, for everyone, for kids, for parents, for every, everyone who would like to have a toy. What's your advice for him? I would say uh, let them try different toys as much as possible uh, in different categories, not on a single category. Sometimes kids can be there very much focused into certain product line and they don't play with other things but the more they play the more they get educated and being well informed with different things so i think it's quite necessary to be socialized with other kids playing together and getting out of uh, tv screens and play with real physical toys like we were in, in our childhood thank you you're welcome you're welcome Okay, uh, welcome to Hong Kong Exhibition okay. Center. Uh, first, you. can you tell me about yourself and about the business? Yeah, so um, we are a garment manufacturing company. So we mainly produce children garments. So baby garments from newborn to two years old. And um, we do a lot of uh, knits, knits and also a lot of accessories. So we do, we do a lot of blankets. You know this type uh, blankets with toy with oh, security toy yes. and emotional blankets okay. and um, so we have a, a, a big range of garments so we have about uh, almost 1,000 SKUs okay. in our inventory oh how you and get we, this idea to start this business uh, our company has been around for a long time so we started in 1960 and we've been in Hong Kong, China and uh, Singapore for a long time. And uh, we got into the uh, manufacturing of baby garments since 1980. Okay. So we have our own brands. We've got two brands, uh, Mother's Choice and Infancy, which are registered all over the world. And uh, we, we focus on this. Uh, on did you brands. share any exhibition before or it's your first time here? No, we've been to this exhibition for many, many years. We've so always been you here. You do it yearly? Yes, we do it every year. And we also take part in Germany, in Bangkok and a couple of other shows around. Okay. How many yeah. years you are doing this business? Uh, since 1980 into the garment business. 1980? Yes, it's been okay. a long time. Yeah. Uh, uh, you explained it already. Okay, for what is the target age? Of target age is your, from is newborn to uh, two years. This is the main target age of all the garments. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how can you convince the buyer or the parents to select your products? Yes, good, good question. Yes. So, um, actually, you know, nowadays people are getting very conscious about the quality of the goods and uh, they don't they want to you know protect the environment they there's a lot of things into the garment business now what it was 20 years ago you know so our quality uh, we target the high end so more, all our products are like no chemicals uh, you know natural dyes and we are also doing a lot of uh, natural products like bamboo products or organic cotton muslin mm -hmm. and we have a lot of testing and certification that goes into the garments before they are exported so in general so we you have our own more QCs. cotton cotton yeah we do uh, most of this is like 100 percent cotton so we do uh, also we do a lot of organic things like uh, we do 100 percent bamboo we do uh, organic cotton we do muslin so these are all uh, you know very uh, conscious products so we also look at uh, the packaging so packaging is also very important to the customers 
so we try to bring in as much as uh, natural packaging without damaging the environment and everything okay. so yeah a lot of research goes into the product so we have a research team in china who uh, you know they do all the uh, the development the inspections and everything we have a design team in europe and uh, also in asia so we coordinate around the world so where is your uh, market where is your target market our target I mean, markets actually we do sell to almost 50 countries right now but the main markets i would say are uh, we do uk new zealand germany france these are the main uh, for you what markets. is the the best country for you to expand your business i think um, there is a lot of opportunity especially after the covid a lot of countries are looking for you know uh, socially responsible products um, natural products so a lot of countries are there where there is growth so europe is there um, south america is there a lot of markets asia asia is growing a lot including china Okay, um, so. at the end, how can you convince the uh, customers to purchase or to choose your, your product, to choose yeah, your Yeah, it's all about uh, differentiation, you know. So differentiation, like we do products based on what the customers want. So we sit with our customers, so we travel a lot. We travel to different places, we do a lot of market research. So our products, a lot of our products are actually different from what other stores or other, uh, you know, booths will be selling around. So, so we have a niche in that. So that's our strong point. So because at the end, uh, how can you, how can you convince the, the customers to choose your product, to choose this kind of stuff that you are selling? Well, it's uh, price price point it's quality so it's uh, it's a combination of a few things together which convinces the customer to come back to us so we actually have some customers who have been doing business with our company for 40 years mm -hmm. so you know there's definitely something that we have which others don't so that's why the customers stick to us for a long time thank you for a good interview thank you. We are in the first day of the Hong Kong exhibition, toys exhibition, and uh, this is the second meeting with kids play toys as we met before in Dubai. So we'd like to ask you: before you have a lot of toys in Dubai, yes. why you have here only balls? You know the European Cup will coming very soon. Yeah. So we want to uh, recommend many professional and many nice for balls to all uh, European customers even from all over the world so you are focused only in europe no not only all over the world all over the world yes yes okay but why i my question is why only balls there is a lot of things also in the football with the balls like you can you know there's some some games like mm -hmm, uh, yeah because we are uh, we are toys uh, football factory yeah. yeah we can make very high quality football and very nice uh, the football. football yes yeah with a variety of designs okay mm -hmm. so how many years you are in the market around two, uh, 10 years 10 years yeah and uh, how many times you subscribe in this exhibition um several times i think five times in hong kong fair yeah in hong yes. kong fair five times okay compare with the last years how you see that the 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 toys is development developed by time yeah, like from 10 years is not same like today mm -hmm. so how it's developed mm, uh, actually we insist on this business yes and super quality and moderate great price and good service and of course the quality sure yeah. <laughs> of course the quality yeah okay this with is the most important thing yeah with the competitors 
with the competitors what trouble you face with the competitors like if you have one item only there is a lot of competitors of course uh, thinking same same way that there is a uh, world cup will come and they need to make the uh, footballs and like that uh, uh, how you deal with them mm-hmm. how to say I think depend on how to communicate with the customers yeah yes usually uh, we will pay more attention to every details yeah not only focus on business we can start on um, like friend relationship yeah and bit by bit step by step yeah, yeah. okay so where is the most customer for you um, most from <laughs> East, uh, Middle East customer, uh, Middle East countries. From? Middle East countries. Yeah, yes. Middle East. Yeah. yeah. Now we develop more European customers. What about the Asian Asian market? Sure, Asia, Latin, <laughs> Latin America, <laughs> all over the world. We welcome Sorry. all over the world. Uh, the customer from all over the world. Yeah. 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 Sorry, is I'm so nervous. This is the first time to. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We are just discuss something like that. It's light discussion. Don't worry about it. Yeah, thank Say you whatever so you like, much. and it will be as it is. I will not cut anything, so it will be okay like that. Oh really? Yeah. Don't don't worry. Don't worry. All of this will be there. It's just uh, don't worry about yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know what I'll ask more, but because you have one item. Uh, 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 Last time we show a plush toys. Yeah, yeah I know. I, before you have a lot of uh, a lot of toys there in, in yeah, other yeah. Uh, ex- exhibitions. Actually, plush toys and both these two series are uh, we good at we good at these two series because okay. all handcraft products. Mm-hmm. So, what other products you have? Like what? Like what? Like many many toys. Give me example. Like baby toy, sports toy, summer toys, yeah, and educational toys, some games. What about technology? What about electronics in your toys? Yeah, also have electronic toys, uh, remote control toys. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, we have a trading office in Shantou with the battery, ball battery, plush toys battery. Okay. Yeah. So, um, as the trading office, we can look for um, many, many kinds of different kinds of toys for the customer. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you are a parent, or I am a parent, mm-hmm. I would like to select a toy for my kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aha, uh-huh, understand. Got it, got it. What, how can I select it? So, as my opinion, I think the first one is the quality. The second one is the function. And uh, the, the last one is the price. Yeah. Yes. Why? Because you know, for baby, we have to, we must, we must choose the best quality, the soft quality, high quality for all babies. Yeah. We must take care of them very well. And for the function, I think this is the purpose for the parents choose the toys for babies. Yes. Uh, you know, a good toy can. Mm, train the babies for eyes, hands, and every everything. I mean everything. Yes. And last one, last one we consider price. That depends on on um, on your level. Yeah. I mean on your income level. Yeah. 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 If you have the some good condition, then we can choose the high quality with um, sub expensive then no problem yeah yeah and if we cannot no problem also we can choose um the toys with moderate price for the babies yeah sorry um no it's it's okay understand it's okay it's okay Mm -hmm. it's clear for anyone can understand it it's okay (laughs) thank you okay at last but not least what you'd like to advise people about the toys I think toys not only toys. Yeah. Toys like um, a commodity to maintain our relationship with people from all over the world. Um, maintain the relationship with parents and babies. Um, maintain the relationship with uh, friends. Something mm-hmm. like this. Mm-hmm. Yes. Not only toys, not only playing items. Yeah. Yes. yes. It's okay. And also toys were developed very 
uh, very better with more high technology. Yeah. Yes, more function. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so and much. Thank you for your time. Thank you so okay, much. Thank you. <laughs>People need to open the mind of the children, so ha having at home a, a nice play rug um, where the kids can play with little cars is a good thing. So this is what we can offer to kids. I didn't see this kind of games before that they play on the carpet. So how you got the idea? How do you start your business? Uh, my boss started a business 20 years ago with his wife. and. You know, when you have a place to take in the market, we go through. So, uh, yeah, the business is now 20, more than 20 years ago. Uh, so, and it's a good business. So, how many designs you have? Oh, so many, because we have our designs, so more than 1,000 designs. We have the design of our customer, and we have uh, designs of uh, licenses. Okay. Uh, what's the main customer for you, the country and the people? I would say that our main countries are France, Germany and Scandinavian countries and uh, our, our main customers are like Giffy Leclerc in France and uh, in Germany it was depending on the market and the retail we have so many customers. Your products? For high level or standard level people? That, that, that's why we are good. We offer any kind of product. So we have like special carpets for entry level, we have middle and we have a premium product as well. So what's the material you are doing? Mainly polyester. We have polyester uh, and we also have polyamide and we have XP. We have five six different kind of material it means also you can make it make it customized yes with yes. any size any size depending on the material any size okay how you can advise parents to select the games for their kids depending on what the kid is good at so and the place they have at home so we have like small little carpets when you have like a small apartment or we have like two three four meters carpet for schools for example okay so the kids themselves when they are trying and to play, to, to play with it how they can learn you know as a, as a game they play yeah but to learn something it's, it's not easy that's why we have learning carpets so for example at schools we have like season carpets where all the seasons are inside on the carpets or we have planets or we have numbers until 1 to 10 or we have specific items for learning and specific items to play is it first time to subscribe in this exhibition no i think it's 15 years that we are doing this show yeah and october as well and we are doing many trade show as well like Nuremberg in Germany or Bet in London or Guess in Dubai. Uh -huh. So what's what's your target from subscribing the exhibitions? Finance or marketing? No, I would say now the main target to be here is to find new customer in new countries or have new customer in countries that we are already because the market is moving a lot so we are always happy to find new customer. What do you like to say more? I think I have said everything. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you to you.
Welcome in Hong Kong exhibition, Toy Exhibition. Thank you. We'd like to introduce yourself and your company. Yeah. So I'm Vinay and I represent a brand called Play Shifu. So we are a seven year old startup based out of Bangalore in India. We work on digital toys for kids which help them in STEM based learning. We currently have three different product lines called Orboot, Lugo and Tacto. Orboot is a series of AR enabled globes. Flugo is basically learning kits for the kids and Tacto is a series of interactive board games for the kids so that they doesn't get ridden there. We are currently present in over 30 countries and with leading retailers like Hamlet, Costco, Toys R Us and so on as a global presence. What's the average of ages for your toys? So average age group focus for the toys is between 4 to 10. Uh, kids starting at 4. So for example, Flugo is age adaptable. It can focus on kids who are 4 years old while also giving the same content with different difficulty for an 8 year old. I know that you are using technology in your uh, toys. What kind of technology are you using and how you develop it? So all these technologies you see here are de developed in-house by the brand itself and they are patented. So for example, Orbit works on uh, detection technology of curd products while also incorporating AR into it, augmented reality into it. Lugo interacts with augmented reality in a sense that it doesn't intrude on your privacy rather than it detects only the markers which are placed in front of it. With different kits you get different markers and that's how it's being detected. While Tacto works based on tactile technology, meaning it detects what is being placed on the screen with markers present on the foot of each product. Between the competitors, where you can find yourself? So, I'd say we stand aside from the competitor in sense of what product we are offering, how we are offering, meaning it's available across mobile phones, tablets, on iOS and Android, while also offering various languages, 25 plus languages for the kids. So, in that sense, we offer on the depth of content, while also quality of content. What's your target of subscribing the exhibitions? So, this time our primary focus and objective is to get more partners in the Asian market, while also increasing the awareness of the brand. So we are looking for partnerships in terms of distribution as well as licensing deals. How you advise parents to select the, the toys for their kids? So parents should select toys based on the content it offers, quality of content, how much valuable it is for their kids rather to consume rather than the face value of the products. So rather than going for something which just increases their screen time or completely reduce, tries to avoid it, we should go for like something which enhances their screen time. And I'd say we fit in very well in that. How do you think that we can use the toys to improve the, the kids, the, the skills of the kids while they are using it? So in this case, Plugo for example, one of our product lines has a kit called Plugo Link. It increases spatial awareness by letting the kids, guiding the kids through the play and also enabling them with the skills like spatial awareness, design thinking, how to balance different things and so on. That way the gameplay guides what skills they need and how they get it. What's the most important country for you for exports? Uh, currently US is our leading uh, market in terms of export, followed by India which is a domestic market for us. Okay, what's your plan to open new markets? So, attending such fairs as this, finding markets, finding leads, that's how we go about opening new markets. And for example, in the Hong Kong Toy Fair, we have met a couple of new distributors for regions like Thailand and Vietnam, which will help us open new markets. How we can advise the parents to select the toys for the kids depends on their mind, not on their the parents' minds. So in that sense, I would say going for the toys which kids find fun to play with, interactive to play with, that would be much more useful for the kids in driving a selection option. Okay. At least, what you'd like to say? I'd say being in the town market is a really fun thing to be in. You are literally a Santa Claus for the kids, but seeing behind scenes and not on the retail shelves. It's a really fun experience. Thank you. Thank you. What's your company name? Uh, we the Hong Kong Toys Company. We also have factory in Santo. Okay. Uh, what you are working? What kind of toys you are preparing? Yes, we mainly do the same toys and big toys, so the kids can play all of our toys in the beach. Yeah. So, so mainly it's also for the beach. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, all of it from plastic. Yeah, plastic. You don't have any metals. No. Okay. How long you are in the markets? How many we years? have been in these uh, kind of toys for uh, nearly 30 years. Yeah. 
How many years? 30. 30 years. Yes. Okay. In these 30 years, how toys development, how toys change from your old to now? Uh, from the beginning, the toys will be very simple design and the colors are not as nice as now. And then we uh, make improvements from the molding. The most important is the quality because the toys are for small kids. So the quality will be very important. They are not too harmful to the kids. And, and on the other hand, they must be well designed to help the kids to develop their mind. Yes, and they got a lot of fun when they play the toys at home or play the toys at the beach. What's the average age for the toys? Like from which age to the how many age? Uh, our toys are for kids over 18 months. One and a half years? Yeah, Up to what, how many years? For, uh, for elder kids, they will not play this kind of toys. Yeah. So normally five or six years old, the kids will like this. If for toys uh, for kids over 10 years, they cannot be called kids. They will be uh, children. They don't like uh, play this kind of Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what's your customer in which, which, which country? Our customer mainly from the uh, USA or Europe. Yes, also we got some from Dubai, from uh, Korea, from Japan. Yeah. Yeah. And with uh, compare with the competitors in the market, you have competitors, of course, in the Literally. market. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's your quality? How will you improve your quality to, to, to challenge these uh, competitors? Yes, uh, from the beginning, we will design the molding. All the molding will be well designed to, to meet the, the needs of the regulation. You see, many, many countries, they got a lot of new regulation about the safety. So for our new products, we have to assure that the quality conform to the regulation of different countries. So uh, all the countries, they got new regulation every year. We need to improve our products to meet the regulation. Because the safety is 100% important for toys. Yeah. So, uh, uh, who selects the toys when your products? The kids or the parents? Uh, normally, they will, if the products are sell on the supermarket, maybe the kids and the mother, they will uh, go to the supermarket on the weekends. They can choose together. If the products are sell online, uh, mostly the mother will have to choose the toys. What's your advice for the parents if you'd like so, to select the toy for their kids? Yes, because I am also a, par a parent for two kids. I got two boys. When they are young, I choose the toys. The most important is the safety. The second will be the function. Yes, because a good function will help the kids to develop the, their mind, to develop uh, their action. Yeah, so these two things I will focus more. Anything else you'd like to say? Yes, uh, welcome to buy our toys, Mercan's brand, same choice. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Welcome to Hong Kong Toys Exhibitions. We'd like to introduce yourself and talk about your company. Okay, so my name is uh, Remarose Pegang. I am from the Philippines. Um, I work for uh, Ice Sports Manufacturing Incorporated in uh, Baguio City, Philippines. And we are exhibiting our house brand, the Archimedrix, uh, for educational magnetic toys. How long you are in the market? Uh, our company in the, is in the market for about 30 years already. Uh, this is our first house brand. Uh, in the past, we manufacture ODM, OEM for other companies also. So, this first time for you also to come to the exhibitions? Yes, sir. This is our okay. first time here in Hong Kong. Do you have any other experience in any other exhibitions or no? Uh, we attended uh, last year the mega show also here in Hong Kong. In Hong Kong? Yes, sir. This is our second exhibition. Okay. Between the competitors, where you can find yourself? Um, uh, I think uh, because we are an emerging brand, I think we will do well. 
uh, comparing to the competitors because uh, one of our main advantage is our product although it's plastic it's made with biodegradable plastics okay uh, your toys what's the range of the ages for kids for, uh, for three years old and above so. up to what uh, up to how old up to up to uh, 99 maybe <laughs> Uh, it's yeah. just for three years old. Okay. Uh, how your, your toys can be used to the, to develop the, the kids uh, the, the kids minds or to learn them? It's oh. easy to using for learning or only fun. Uh, it's also for learning, sir, because uh, we have uh, different shapes and colors, and the children can learn uh, different shapes and colors with our toys, and also build other shapes, uh, just like these ones build uh, different features and structures animals and whatever their mind uh, can imagine sir yeah what's your target of subscribe in the exhibitions um can what's, I guess? what's your target target like like you are looking for increased sales or to be known or uh, oh yes so one is uh, uh we want our brand to be known because it's uh, relatively new and also to increase sales. What's the most important client for you, the country? Uh, for now, we are targeting US and Europe, uh, but we want to make it globally, hopefully. What you advise, what you advise the parents to select the, the games for the kids? Um, I think our parents uh, must select educational toys, not just the, um, uh, not just the toys that uh, are for fun but also for education also okay what your advice for the people who would like to select toys okay so I think uh, they should select toys that are um, sustainable and uh, affordable because also our toys is uh, range is affordable and also uh, for the kids to have fun while learning thank you okay thank you so much sir Welcome in Hong Kong exhibitions Yes. for toys and uh, stationery. We'd like to introduce yourself and your company. All right, I'm Alex and we are a doll stroller manufacturer. We have been in business for over uh, 30 years and I think this is our 26th year coming to Hong Kong Toy Fair. Yeah. yeah. How you start this business? Uh, it's a family owned business. Uh, I inherited from my parents. They're still coming to work once in a while, maybe twice a day into the office. But mostly uh, I've taken over, yes. How did you get the idea? The idea came from uh, the, the, the previous owner of the company that we uh, purchased off of. So they were already having clients that are interested in the doll strollers. So we, we just uh, continued. Yes. So about the business. What's the most countries for you for this uh, business? The, the, the most, most uh, important country? Uh, the, the most important country would be uh, Germany, yeah. followed by the Benelux. Uh, so uh, Belgium, the Netherlands, and uh, Luxembourg. Yeah. So it means you are dealing with Europe? Yes, yes, mostly Europe. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, about the, the, the business itself, as, yeah. fine, as finance, how you are dealing with the customer and buying and selling? Uh, I think our pride, our, our top uh, most important aspect is to don't cut back on the quality, but keep ourselves uh, competitive in terms of innovation, coming up with new ideas and products, and just staying on top of the quality. Yeah. Okay. As you have it as a doll, as, as, as toys for the kids, Yeah. what's the unique piece, unique unit you have? The unique uh, look is uh, when younger children see their parents possibly doing chores to a younger baby. They will want to follow and copy what the parents are doing. And so it's easy for us to come up with some of the items that the mom and dad are using. And so the, par the, the, the older siblings can just learn and it's a, it's a good opportunity for them to learn as well. Okay, yeah. how the parents can select the toys for uh, for kids? Yeah, 
Yeah, they can they can just select something that uh, you know can can mimic what they are doing. So so it, it would be a series of the collection. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay, so at least what you'd like to say for the customer? Yeah, I think uh, thank you for, for choosing us and uh, getting our products across to Europe. And yeah, we, we, we enjoy coming to Hong Kong, getting a lot of exposure to, to our clients. And yeah, happy, uh, happy to you. Have a good fair. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you. Thank you.